What's going on? Check, check, like always. It's your boy, the Capo 2.1. Uh, I, I try, like, you know, to reflect on certain things. And once again, disclaimer, I don't think I'm smarter than no one else. I just think that people don't share as much as they used to. Therefore, because we don't share simple stuff, like if a person ain't gonna share knowledge, then they definitely ain't gonna share their money or ideas or dreams, and you know, it's not gonna happen. But what I'm figuring out is that I hear a lot of people like, Oh, she hating, he hating. Uh, I mean, they can't stand me because I be shining. It's not, uh, that's not necessarily true. You got to remember all haters didn't start off as haters. They were nurtured and taught and trained in skill and discipline of being a hater. If a person, my dad, he used to always tell me when I was walking down the street, you see somebody with some nice shoes on, tell them they decent. Tell them you like them. See somebody in your school with some nice sneakers on, tell them that you like them. Like, and you gotta remember this back in the day, man, when like, when people walked down the street, and old heads used to talk to each other. They'd stop. They'd stop in the middle of a highway and start talking. Yeah, man, you know. Yeah, you know, I'm about to go down there and kick it real quick. You know, they, that's just how they was back in the day. Like, niggas had suits and shoes. And when they got dressed, they got dressed. But one thing it taught me is how not to be a hater. See... A lot of times, we be so confused. And when I say I pray for my enemies, I do. And it's very selfish in the reason that I do it. Because if my enemies get out of the current situation they in, nine times out of ten, they won't be my enemies no more. Then they'll start to understand how stressful it is to be in a position that you don't need anyone. And you start graduating to that field where everybody around you is around you because you want them to be. Instead of you need something from that person interacting with your circle or your space. want everyone to try I won't say sympathy because I have none for certain situations or people I would say I I hope that one day you get to a spot in your life where you have empathy sympathy empathy that you have empathy for your haters because you have to understand it's God that they see in you how you get blessed how every time they turn around you got something new on like how no matter what life throw at you you don't fall you don't buckle it's the God in you that they hate it's the blessings that you get that they hate it's not necessarily you. Don't take it personal. The worst thing you could do is come around somebody who don't have something. But the thing that they don't have, you have. And because you just got it, 
out of clear necessity, your mind say, don't be letting nobody ride that bike. And you like, okay, but all day long, your friends been asking you to ride the bike. And one of your little friends take you all the way to the park. There's bleachers at everything. You know, it look like ants when you get all the way over there. Then he hits you with the mojo. Man, your mom can't see us from over here. Let me get a ride, man. You gonna do me like that? See, that was his whole intentions in the first place. His whole intentions was to get you away and get you in a spot that no one can see, especially your mom, so that he can get what he wanted to get, which was basically just a ride on a new bike. Because if you don't start to understand how when you walk through this earth, even if you feel like See, it, the people who cry sometimes, the people who have messed up days sometimes because they feel like they disappointed God, that's true love. That's, tr that's true love. That's your heart. That's your spirit being washed off. All the dust and all of the frustration, all of the anger, all the lust and all the, all that stuff start getting shook off you. That's what them tears are for. Cleansing you, yourself. Cause I can bend you because they, 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 they listen, man. Some days I I just be in awe sometimes. That I would just bust out crying if I hear the wrong song or something like that. Because my change has already been solidified. Because not only was I blessed enough to change, I was blessed to have the education change and understand that I need to start asking these older people questions and getting and then I figured it out that I am trying to pay. For something that I can never get back. I'm the type of idiot. If I did something to you three years ago. I'd still be trying to make up for it today. When I be around people. Who. Man. They do something to you. They would not even care. They Forget caring. Not only would they not care, you ain't getting nothing. Not a, I'm sorry. No, you're not, you're not getting anything. Your best bet is to brush off your shoulders and brush off your pants and keep walking because they don't feel like, they feel like they are above you. When in reality, I would take the favor of God over any amount of money. Because once you get the favor of God, prosperity is always, it's prosperity. It's already written that he will provide, you see. And people with the ghetto mentalities and people with the ignorant mentalities don't know him saying that he will provide. Could mean millions of dollars. You know, we box ourselves in. There's no way I'm gonna be able to make five hundred thousand dollars a year. I, I'ma just, you know, do this gig. This gig is good. Everybody's supposed to look for a job while you got a job. I'm gonna tell you the secret to people being successful. I seen it with my own eyes. Get have a job, but looking for one, and it's always the same answer. Oh man, this this job right here paid three more dollars. 
Which to a person like me or a person that's been in the street their whole life, it's like three dollars, dude. Like, like, but corporate wise, that's a that's a good Greek look. Cause you probably already making twenty two, nineteen. But I, I seen, I seen it. That behavior, that pattern came from a person who said to themselves that I refuse to wait for God to bless me. I'm not going to sit around and do nothing until he feel like he's going to pick my number like me in DMV. No. That's not how I go. It wasn't until I started making these real, real, real hard decisions. And you know the hardest decision I made? I had to force myself to ask myself a couple of questions. And when I said force myself to answer, I could have answered anybody. Just like you beat somebody in the head with the bullshit. You, you can do it to anybody, including yourself. If you, if you ain't careful, you can start beating yourself in the head. That's when you get dangerous. That's when you start believing. You Mike Lowry from, from, boy, from Bad Boys, and, and you're not. His name is Will Smith. But I do recall meeting actors. And I was sitting down with Kevin Hart. When Kevin Hart got introduced to, I mean, it went up on a hall, hall of Fame in Erie, and he put his face out on matches, and I went to the party with him. I was there, you know, me and Gilly took a picture outside. It's on my page. And, you know, I was in there, and it was like, man. Non-regular people. You know, people way above my pay grade. Like, way, way, way above my pay grade. And I just started having conversations with different people. And I never forget it. I never forget it. I, got, I, I don't know whether he's gay or not. I really didn't care because of, like, I, like, I, I don't care where I'm at. I don't care what I'm going through. If you have the right to say that you like penis, then I have a right to say I like vagina. I don't like penis. I like vagina. So there you go. Don't cancel me. I ain't even started yet. <laughs> but back, he, he just asked me this question. He said, man, you bet, what you do? I said, man, I do a little bit of everything. You know, I'm doing this instruction shit, I'm doing this music shit. You know, I bounce every once in a while. I said, for real, man, you bounce? You just created He's like, yeah, you big enough to bounce. It's like, you know, hang on my card. Call me. If you ain't got nothing to do on the weekends, you got this little strip club at, across the street from the Gratz High School. I'm like, all right, cool. In the back of my head, I'm like, I know exactly what I said. I'm not working up there. Pat niggas down. Niggas get mad at me because I won't let them bring no gun in there and shoot me. No. I mean, you, you can have a gun for security purposes when you own a premises. Any security officer could, but you had to leave that bitch did when you left, but the bottom line to the story is before he turned away and walked off, he said, you can't get rich work in one place. 
do all of that shit that you said you was gonna do. And you walked off. And that stuck with me. So this day, if I was in a position to get a job like some of y'all are, anytime I wanted it, then I would be filling out applications every day, all day, every day, all day, every day, all day. And when on my break at my regular job, I'm filling out these jobs. Because they ain't no loyalty no more. It, it, nowhere. Your job ain't loyal to you. you can, your mother could die and your sons be sick on the same day and them, and them motherfuckers be trying to talk to you and coming to work. Well, we know, you know we, we short-staffed. How about you just come in for a couple hours and then you can just go... And you know, maybe take tomorrow off. Uh, no, it's something just happened to my family. I'm gone. And that's why working is for some people and working ain't for some people. And that's why you trying to figure out how somebody hating on you who got more than you. That is why. That is why, what I just said. Because a person for the first time in hustler history is making more money at a job than these niggas selling drugs. And it's eating them alive. And sooner or later, they're going to come to the realization that they missed that boat. And now, they got to wait for furries. And you know, Jones take forever. But the main boat stayed in mist. So now the journey will be a little bit harder. Yeah, but I would work four jobs. If I had to go to sleep. And I don't do too much of that. Because at the end of the day, we always try to figure something out. And the answer is the same as it has been for centuries. They hate God's favor on your life. They hate that God has put his hand, his shield of protection on your life. They mad because they try to do anything to sabotage you. Try to make your life a living hell. And the only people who is thinking about this shit is them. You know how many times, I'm guilty of it too, I'm talking about myself. You know how many times I got mad at somebody? And I was having a beautiful day. And me having a beautiful day, I look back at it. And now my whole weekend, not just that day, my whole weekend is consumed with this person, what they said, and how they said it, and what I should do. When the reality of it is, is that this person is going on with their life. They don't even know I exist properly. <laughs> they not worried about me. They might have started it, but afterwards, it's like, all right, cool. They going about their life. And I'm messing my day up? Oh, no. No, no. No. Protected by Viper. Stand back. It's just the truth. I refuse to allow someone or people to come and sabotage 
something that I need to enjoy every single time I get it. Because you never know when life is going to throw that 98-mile fastball. And even throwing 80s all day long, and then you switch it up on you. And you be swinging that air. You never know. And the surprising thing is when you when you talk to some people, they be shocked. Like, nah, it ain't that reason. Wow. You really ain't got no self-esteem. Yes. I was one of them. You have people who believe they don't deserve anything. But pain and suffering and being used and manipulated is like it's like almost a drug. But not a drug because like you get high but at the same token. It's the same philosophy. Once the money ran out, is people all of a sudden got things they gotta do. Well I gotta go pick up my son. Um, <laughs> I, I gotta go pick up my son or uh, you know yeah you know I, I promised my mom bring back the car at a certain time you know my babysitter just called me told me the baby was crying too hard she kind of nervous on what to do so I mean I'm gonna get this is all shit's bullshit 20 minutes ago you was in the corner getting having sex with clothes on <laughs> and twerking <laughs> going live with your phone <laughs> come on please and I know some people don't feel like God is showing favor to you Whereas though people have no choice but to understand or see it for what it is. I'll show you. If you are not in jail, going to court, about to get sentenced, about to find out whether you're going home or not, or whether you're going to your other home. on drugs and a drug is a drug is a drug on drugs if you ain't none of those people you need to wake up every day and and you ain't got to be on shadow because I, I'm not one and that's funny you like to dance really good to be my size I dance really good I just don't I, I, shouting was never for me. Too much attention. But if you one of them people who make 12 ricots just to have a lost bit of to see that you're grateful. Peace be upon you, brother. That's what's up. But you should do it, though. I speak to myself first. I try to, when he comes back into my memory, say, like, you know, thank you, God, for waking me up this morning, man. Seriously, because, like, there is someone who is not going to be here tomorrow. I hate to say it that blunt, but there is someone in the world who is not going to be woke tomorrow. And God blesses you to be the person who wakes up. I advise you to understand that that's through his mercy. Not of your own doing. Haters have a job. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you trying to do your job and your caseworkers? I mean, I mean and you're... And, and your fellow workers 
is in the way they playing around and you gotta get this shit done. But you think to yourself, I'm gonna get my part done. What about this dude? This dude ain't even started yet. 